Hey there, welcome back to the next video and in this video we will look at another case study that I will going to show you which is related to data massaging, data analysis as well as data prediction. So this case study will give you a good idea about uh, how the data science work really happen or how the data analytics work really happen in a uh, in a normal company environment, what are the things that you need to take care of because uh, mostly the time goes into the uh, and, uh, the cleaning of the data, putting the data in a format and finally making a prediction. So if you are not sure how you can make a prediction or how you can clean the data, analyze the data, you can see it from my blog and this, this case study is independent of the tool. That means you can use the tool of your choice, you can use Python, you can use R, you can use Julia, whatever programming language or the business intelligence tool that you want to use. For example, Tableau, ClickView, ClickSense, Power BI, all of those which are very famous uh, in the market today, you can use any of the ones. So this is pretty raw and uh, one can use any tool of, of your choice or uh, one's choice and uh, implement the case study. So let's see uh, about this case study what it is and uh, how, what are the questions that you really need to solve. So let's first see the data about this case study. So here I am going to the data. So data is basically if you see data has three columns. One is the year column starting from 1960 and going up all the way to 2018 so it's pretty long data as you can see it's basically a data which is dependent on the time it is starting from 1960 and going till 2018 so first pointer for you to start thinking how you would analyze the data is that it is a time dependent data right and then this is basically the value or the dimension which basically say giving you the information about different types of residents for example total resident male resident female resident total malays male malays and female malays and then chinese female chinese female chinese then indians male indians and female indians and then other ethnic group so pretty much this information if you observe from this data it's it's been repeated again and again and again so uh, this is the second column for you and that's where uh, i will show you what uh, massaging that you need to do and then uh, we will see then you can practice it and then finally the value indicates the value of the or the number of uh, people who are living so total residents that you have is uh, 1.6 mil million out of which 859,000 uh, is male and 786,000 uh, is basically the female so it's basically a very small data it's a time dependent data but we can do a lot here and I have framed 15 questions for you that you can answer and uh, some of the questions may you find it repetitive but important from the analytics perspective so let's see what those questions are all right so let me go here this is my second case study and if you are seeing this as a first video you can observe that this is a second case study and i have already published one case study yesterday so you can uh, go ahead and uh, see it if you have not already seen it so this that case study was related to the sports data and uh, what i asked you again the 15 question where you can give the answer but that was mostly from the data analysis and data visualization however in this case a study you can even find the data prediction component as well all right so what do we have as a first question first question is create columns for male and female and then male ethnic and female ethnic. So what I meant by that is, if I go back to my uh, data, so you have male, female, then male ethnic and female ethnic. So what you need to do is, you need to figure out a way by some sort of logic creation that you are only picking up these two columns, which is 
male mal total male malays and female malays similarly total male chinese and female chinese and total male indian and female indian and finally other ethnic group male and female not this one so what i'm asking you or what uh, is our requirement is that we first normalize this data in such a way that we can read it easily for us this column which is total resident here total malay here total chinese here total indians similarly to other ethnic group total this doesn't make sense because this is something which is made up of these two numbers so if you sum these two numbers you will get 29400 and that's what's been represented here so we need to get rid of columns like these this 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 and this and they have been repeated and this is your first data cleansing activity which is hidden as a question if you go back i have not asked here that uh, you do that but if you see once you observe the data this is what the first thing you would do because total does not make sense if you sum these two up which we will do it in the front end definitely we will get the number so this row doesn't make any sense so first figure out a way how you can do that that's that's your number one basically it's two question first is identifying these total resident and then creating the male malays and female malays and similarly ethnic groups so when i say ethnic group female and female column for ethnic group that means we don't even need these two right because total male is basically a sum of uh, total male malays total chinese total male chinese total male indians and other ethnic group males if you sum these up you will what you get what you will get is the total male resident in 1960 right so that's why this is one question but inherently it has multiple questions in it so first get rid of uh, columns like these first three and then total malays uh, and total chinese uh, total indians and finally other ethnic group total so this is something which is which you will find is repetitive for every year and you need to clean that data once you clean that data you need to basically pick these two columns male malays and female malays and create a column over here right male and female for individual ethnic group suppose malay and this needs to be repeated for chinese and uh, male chinese and female chinese one way to do this analysis is like this way which i have uh, mentioned to you like uh, create a separate columns also what you can do is once you let's say clean the data then you can even keep the values over here itself if you don't want to create a columns let's say if our analysis is saying that we didn't we don't need to create a column then no need to uh, basically create a column but creation of a column gives us a good good way of uh, creating multiple series that's why i recommend that you create like this so so basically you will create six different columns uh two for Ma malays two for chinese two for indians and two for other ethnic groups so it's it's basically one two three four so basically total eight column along with the value and year so that will be total 10 columns for you so once you have done that what you need to do is uh, basically at what rate singapore population is increasing right so you need to basically identify the rate that means the percentage right how the population of singapore so this is basically a singapore uh Sing data from the singapore uh, population provided by the singapore government so you can use that and i can give the description on my uh, uh, channel sorry the video description uh, the third is which ethnic group has the highest representation in singapore and when i say that i have not specified the year that means when i'm saying a question like this this means it is the latest year and then finally in last 10 years here i'm clearly specifying in last 10 years which ethnic group has shown the highest increment in population after that in which year female population was higher than male population what is the trend of past 10 years in male and female population 
whether it has some time gone up gone down and uh, or it's it's always something where female population is lesser than male if you are observing that trend so uh, observe that trend and write it down after that what is the trend of china and india population now i'm being very very specific what is a trend so when i'm saying what is a trend basically in question like this you have seen that business is asking that past 10 years that means they are mostly interested in the last 10 years of data so what is the trend of china and india population in overall population is something which you need to figure it out and and write your uh, observations what is the average increase in chinese population over there is china population increasing with the higher rate compared to india in singapore if that's the case you need to find the observation what will be the population of singapore in 2019 so this is a forecasting question because the data is only available up until 2018 so now you need to put some sort of uh, algorithm where you can predict what will be the population of singapore in 2019 oops sorry about that noise well let's move on to the next question uh what will be the population of chinese in singapore in 2019 so first i asked what will be the population of singapore in 2019 what will be the population of indians in 2019 what will be the population of chinese in 2019 and basically uh, it helps us validate based on the previous questions that we are asking and you can see the interest is more on identifying uh, these two um, ethnic groups how with which rate they are increasing and what is their contribution in the singapore and then uh, what will be the population of male in singapore that means we are going very very specific that's how basically uh happen in the business scenarios that once you answer the very higher level question they come back and ask very specific question about a specific sort of uh, um you know element so what may happen is based on how the population is growing let's say you are a marketing company and you are producing uh some product which is uh, male oriented then you may want to predict that uh, how many males will be there in the coming year so that uh, they can increase decrease or or basically based on the data can take some sort of a decision then what will be the population of females in singapore again with a similar hypothesis uh, we are predict we want to predict that and then finally the 15th question when will the population of singapore reach 5 million so if we go back to our data over here if we go down uh, our total uh, for 2018 is 3.9 million or almost like 4 million over here and we want to predict in which year singapore population will be of 5 million another sort of question from a different angle altogether so that's a that's a case study i want to give you to try it out and try your hands on this um uh, pretty much everything uh that i have shown here is available on my channel or uh you can if you have already gone through it will be pretty easy for you to do that but it's uh, i'll give you another hint that it's basically a time series analysis so look for time series analysis i can i'm pretty sure that uh, you will be able to do all the cleansing and everything um if not in a automated fashion try to uh put your mind how you can clean and put a data like i suggested and then uh, analyze and make a prediction by using the relevant charts and i will be really really interested in seeing what answers you may come up with and uh, what your visualization is saying and how well you are able to communicate your result to your end users and uh, if you are able to produce this you can even put it on your resume as a project so i look forward for it and i will meet you now in the next case study